Hi guys, today I want to inform and teach you all about mining attachments and gadgets that will help you with cracking even the most resilient boulders in Star Citizen. I have previously posted guides that teach you hand mining, rover mining and ship mining. This guide is a perfect match for my previous ship mining guide, so I highly recommend you also check out that video. First make your way to a refinery. I recommend the one at Arc L1 since it is close to the moon Lyria, where precious ore such as Quantanum is in abundance. Go to the mining support center and enter the console. Here you will see various types of gadgets. Mining modules are attachments you can add to your mining laser. For instance, the Vox C3 module takes down the instability of whatever you are trying to break apart, but it does reduce the optimal charge window size by 4%. The Torn 3 module increases your laser power by 4%, but it also increases the instability of your targets by 3%. Now most of these attachments are passive, meaning they do not have a limited use. Some of these modules do have a limited use, such as the Optimum module. This module increases the green optimal charging zone by 75%, which can be a big help in some cases, but it only has 5 uses, so use it well. Besides modules you need to add to your mining laser, there is also gadgets you keep on your character and need to manually add to mineable deposits. A nice one is the Bormax. This gadget reduces the resistance by 75%, which is perfect for when your laser seems too weak to crack a boulder. It does however decrease the rate at which you fill up the optimal charge window, and increases the rate at which you fill up the overcharge window. Purchase this one, go to your inventory and drag the gadget onto your backpack. In order to add the modules to your ship, before taking off, go to your vehicle loadout, go to the prospector, go to utility, and here, underneath your mining head, select the ones you want to equip. Now with the standard mining head you can only have one extra attachment, whereas with the helix mining head you can have three in total. With that last purchase we are ready to start mining. In this first example we do not have any modules added to our mining laser and we are simply not strong enough to crack this obsidian deposit. To help with this press 4 to equip the gadget. Hold the left mouse button and place it on the deposit. The gadget will scan the deposit first but you will have to adjust three parameters before you can activate it. Play around with the propagation, field range and axial scatter settings until the red and green wavelengths overlap as much as possible. Look for the waveform accuracy percentage while adjusting these parameters to get as close as possible to 100%. Activate the gadget and go back into your ship and start mining again. As you can see we are now able to increase the charge. Now this next part is a little bit annoying. After the deposit is broken apart, the gadget will simply fall on the ground, but you cannot pick it up that easily. You need to actually somehow find a way to click on the detach button. That way your character will automatically grab the gadget. Now let's combine everything we have. On our helix mining head, I have added two passive modules. I have added the Torn 3 module for an increase in laser power, and the FLTR XL module to filter out inert materials when I'm collecting the resources. There is one module that I need to manually activate, which is the optimal module that increases the optimal charge window by 75%. And here is an example of us using this module. I do recommend getting the Helix mining head, since the default mining head has only one attachment slot available. Otherwise, you just need to be very picky with what you want on your laser head. That's it for this guide. You will finally be able to solo mine certain deposits that seem just out of reach. If this was helpful, please do let me know down in the comment section, like the video, and subscribe for more Star Citizen guides.